Well, hello everybody. Thought I would do a full self-driving beta test for you in my Tesla Model X Plaid. So this is a FSD version 10.69.2.2 and I'm here in Chicago. I'm currently on Oak Street, basically Oak and Michigan Avenue and I'm going to head to the south side towards my house. So I figure we'll go for a ride together and see how Beta does. So now that I'm in the car, you can maybe see here on the display, it's thinking that I want to go forward, which I do. So I'm going to go ahead and put the brake on. <clears throat> and now it's put it in gear and we're getting ready to go forward. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out manually. I don't know if I trust it to pull out of here on its own. Let me get up here and then I will put it into FSD. Let's see if it'll let me do that. Okay, it doesn't quite like being put into FSD here. All right, now we've got the rendering. So let me go ahead and put it into FSD. And the car is now driving itself. So it's creeping up here, getting ready to turn left. And it went to uh, the Lakeshore Drive. It probably should have gone on Inner Lakeshore Drive. I think now it's realized its mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and give it some gas again because it realized that it made a mistake there. So I wanted to report that to, uh, to the beta team. And now let's see what she does. So now it's going to have to reroute us backwards. So it's uh, working its way on to the highway. I'm telling it to go ahead and get moving a little bit. So I've got it set to 45 miles an hour now. Get on up to 50. And so now the car has got to uh, drive itself again. So I'm in uh, FSD. Let's see what she does. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, getting us off of this exit. Maybe a little fast. I'll <laughs> slow it down some. It's kind of like driving with a teenager. You really don't know what it's going to do. Sometimes it'll do something completely unexpected. So you definitely have to watch what's going on. Um, but you can see it's steering itself. It just turned on the turn signal and you can see by the, the little heads up display that it's trying to turn left. I'm going to go ahead and let it go. You can see this little guy here uh, walking beside the car and going by. So the car saw him as a pedestrian. So we're here at the traffic light now. And see how it does. So what it's got to do is it's got to turn left here, go under this bridge, and then turn left again to get back on Lakeshore Drive, this time heading south. So we'll see how it does. Um, sometimes it gets confused in the city and it'll take the wrong turn. So I'm just letting it do its thing. You can see I'm not, not steering or anything. It's doing it on its own. Got a little close to that curb. Now it realized it needs to get over here. And you can see I'm not giving it gas. I'm not touching the brake. Car is now uh, pulling up. Again, it's got the left turn signal on, so it uh, knows that it needs to go to the left. Now, uh, this is a little bit of a tricky intersection here, because there's a left turn that goes straight on inner Lakeshore Drive, and then there's a harder left that takes us back up on Lakeshore Drive. So I'm going to just let it go and see what it does. Hopefully it gets back out onto Lakeshore, uh, but we'll see how it does here in a second. So we're making the turn. All right, yep, it started to hesitate, but then it did get to the correct street. 
<laughs> now it's now it's coming up onto Lakeshore Drive like it's supposed to. I'm going to go ahead and bump the speed up a little bit so we can get on out and merge into this traffic. All right, we're in this uh, left lane that is ending, so it needs to get over. Probably should have used a turn signal there, but it, it did make it out okay. turn on the display here so you can kind of see the cameras, what the car is seeing. Alright, it's wanting to go over to the left. I'm letting it do its own thing here and uh, it changed lanes on its own. It wanted to get over one, so I didn't do anything. I'm just uh, here monitoring the car. I do kind of keep my hand close to the wheel just in case. And I have my foot down here in case I need to stop. But otherwise, the car is doing its own thing. It's following this traffic. I'm not doing anything. You can see I'm, we're making this turn. And I'm not having to do any of the steering. And it's matching the speed of the cars in front of me. You can see now we're down to 32 miles an hour. I have it set to go to 35. Or, I'm sorry, 45. But... It can't because of the cars in front of us. So uh, this car here wants to go over one more lane, um, but good luck finding anybody to let you over here in Chicago. <laughs> uh, the car tries to drive politely and by the law, but um, most of the human drivers here are not quite so courteous. So. It's not very e often that you have somebody that'll actually let you over. But nevertheless, we're safe. We're here in the city. We're trucking down through here. We're in traffic. You can see these visualizations. They're really nice. It shows all of the lanes. It shows the cars that it can see. It even sees the traffic light all the way up in front, showing that it is green. But although it's green, the cars aren't moving yet. There they go. I'm not touching the gas, not touching the wheel. You can see that we're up to 12 miles an hour. The car is uh, doing this completely on its own. So this guy's wanting to come over. Feel the car slow back. We're down to 21. It let him in. So you know it's got to be a computer driving, not a human, because <laughs> humans wouldn't let him in. So we're cruising on through. We got another traffic light here. Uh, the visualizations are really nice. You know, it shows all of the cars that the vehicle can see with all eight cameras around it. Anything with a red line, it's saying that I cannot cross that. Um, you know, the cars, it knows what's what. You can even see pedestrians walking all the way over there. It sees those people walking. And uh, right now, there are no factor to it, so it's fine. Light should turn here in a second. Lights turn green up there. I can see it up in the front that it's good. Car's accelerating up on its own. Another guy's wanting to get over. So the car sees that. You can see how it's slowed down to give him room to come over all by itself. So now we're going to speed back up. We're at 33, 34. You know, these cars are getting close sometimes. They weave over, and the car sees that, so it's wanting to make sure not hit anybody so it stays out of their way. Again, the car is making this turn completely on its own. I'm not doing anything to assist it. I'm not giving it any sort of accelerator or brake or anything. So now it wants to get over. So it's saying, hey, I want you want to change lanes, but then it's seeing these cars beside us, so it's like, okay, maybe I don't. 
So let me help it out. I'm going to go ahead and turn the signal on. And then it uh, doesn't want to get over, so I'll just let it, let it do its thing. It's completely safe right now. We're driving past the city. So we're just about into the main heart of downtown on Lakeshore Drive. This guy cut over into our lane a little bit. He's weaving in. Car doesn't like that too much, so it's you can I can feel it anyways. It kind of went over to the right side of the lane a little bit to stay out of his way. Car again is driving itself. It's making all these turns completely on its own. slowed down a little bit. It saw those people there, but then it continued on on its own. Now this light's getting ready to turn. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's yellow, so it went ahead and went through the yellow light. You can see on the display that it saw that it was yellow, but instead of throwing on the brakes, it just cruised right through nice and smoothly. Passing a Buckingham Fountain over there. So this guy's coming in, car's slowing down kind of aggressively, but safely. And no, no, no brakes, no throttle, not having to touch the wheel. The car's doing it mostly on its own. I haven't had to really intervene or do much with it. The only mistake it made was getting on Lakeshore Drive or Outer Lakeshore Drive versus Inner. But that's a tight turn, and eventually it'll learn uh, those, those sorts of things. So the more I drive that, the more experience it'll have with that turn. And then it'll, it should learn automatically after going through it a few times. So we're cruising on down through here. There's a car parked over here on the right. City, so we're completely past the city. I think we're just about up to um, Congress, or I think it's Congress. So now we're past past the city, cruising on through. Highway 55 is up here uh, just in one mile. We don't want to get on the highway. So let's see how it does. occasionally touch the, the yoke a little bit just to let the car know that I'm here. There's also a camera right up here that watches me and makes sure that I'm paying attention to the road. If for some reason I'm not, the car will uh, pull over and uh, stop and be a complete disengagement of the autopilot system if you're not paying attention to what you're doing. So that's interesting. This guy crossed over that median. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that on the camera, but that was, uh, that was fascinating. People do some of the strangest things in cars. It's quite a bit of traffic out here today. So we're going to go, so we're not, so this is the highway entrance off to the right, uh, 55 south. We don't want to go on that. We want to stay straight. So as long as we stay in this lane, we'll continue on straight. Car is not signaling or anything, so it knows better. But this is an interesting little bend here. You can see it, if it followed the line, it would want to get over to 55. But it did a nice curve around and stayed on Lakeshore Drive like it's supposed to. So up here in 7 tenths of a mile is our exit. 
Now this is another one of those tricky exits. There's a continuous lane. So 55 comes onto Lakeshore Drive here. You can kind of see this bridge. And so those guys are coming on and there's a continuous lane that will exit straight onto 31st. So what we have to do, or what the car is going to have to do here in a minute, is we're merging across and now it's got to get over to the right. So you can see it's trying to work its way over nice and gradually, but it did, did good. No complaints there. So now we're coming on to the exit here. And we're going to have to slow down up here at this light. Car saying, hey, are you there? Now we don't want to go here. So it just realized that. So it, that, that goes to McCormick Place. So the car did figure that out, but it didn't do it very gracefully. So now we're making this turn. It's a little hesitant in making that turn. It sees these people over here. Um, so it slowed down a little bit just to make sure that it didn't do anything strange. But there again, not doing anything. Now at this traffic light here, this is our turn. So let's see how she does. Going to have to turn on its signal here. Got into the left turn lane like it's supposed to. Now it's got to make this left turn. There's a car here parked and then one there. <laughs> it's always scary when you see it doing that. This guy passed somebody over into our lane. Okay, we stopped at the, tr at the stop sign like it's supposed to. That's good. Now it's continuing forward. There's a car coming up here. There's cars parked on the side of the street here. It stays over. Stopped at that stop sign completely all by itself. It's moving on forward. Now at this stop sign, uh, this is where we would turn left. So you can see it turned on the left turn signal. Maybe you can see that. And then it's stopping. So technically this is our our place to go, but that guy went anyway, so the car yielded to him. And then now, it, although it was a little bit wonky there, it made it to our driveway safely. So there you go. So not a perfect experience yet. It's going to take a little while for the car to get um, truly autonomous but you know as you can see it didn't didn't do too bad of a job considering that it had to drive through all of that city traffic to get here and every time you drive it it just gets a little bit better so i hope you all enjoyed that video as the car improves we get new updates i'll uh, post a few more videos out there so you guys can see it so until next time i'm jim kerr see you guys later